Hey everyone, welcome back to another Java short video. Today's topic is why should you avoid catching throwable in Java? This is a critical best practice in exception handling. So let's break it down. In Java, throwable is root class of all errors and exceptions. It has two main subclasses, exception, which represents the conditions your program might reasonably recover from, and error, which represents serious unrecoverable problems like out of memory error or stack overflow error. Catching throwable means you are handling both exceptions and errors. Now let's see why we should avoid catching throwable. First reason is errors are not intended to be handled. Errors like out of memory or stack overflow error indicate critical issues that application cannot and should not try to recover from. These problems often require the application to terminate or restart. For example, here in this code, if an error like out of memory error occurs, Catching it might not solve the underlying problem and could leave the problem in inconsistent state. Second reason to avoid catching throwable is unintended catching of runtime exceptions like null pointer exception or index out of bounds exception. This can lead to masking bugs in the code and making debugging hard. For example, here the text is null. So if we try to get its length, it will result in null pointer exception, but it is caught as throwable. So its origin might get lost and debugging may become more challenging. And final reason is catching throwable makes your code harder to maintain because it breaks the principle of catching specific exceptions. If you need to handle specific errors, catching exception or more granular exceptions like IO exception or runtime exception makes your code cleaner and easier to maintain. For example, here this code throws IO exception as well as runtime exception, but catching them specifically improves code readability and maintainability. While catching throwable is generally discouraged, there is a rare use case for it, which is logging unhandled issues at global level. For example, here we catch the throwable for the application code to log unexpected errors before rethrowing them. So to summarize, always avoid catching throwable unless you are using it for logging or debugging in control scenarios. Stick to catching specific exceptions to keep code clean, maintainable and error free. That's all for today. Hit like and follow us for more Java tips.